In the August 2014 edition of the Gageo Guild magazine, there was an article written by John Bryce entitled The Thirlby Railway. It showed a large O-gauge layout and described something of the thinking behind its design. The last sentence of the article read, Now it's time to have a look at this newfangled DCC business. Well, as I'd just started work on my own DCC layout, and John's layout wasn't far away from my home, I got in touch to see if I could help him with his move over to DCC. A few days later, I found myself in a huge garage about 45 feet long by 12 feet wide, and surrounded by a most magnificent model railway. Loosely based on the LMS in the late 1950s and early 1960s, the layout started out as a U-shape, running 42 feet along each side and the far end of the building. Priority was given to running reasonable length passenger trains, and it was soon found that a continuous loop was needed to let the trains stretch their legs. So a viaduct straddling the room was built. But this restricted access to most of the layout, and so part of the viaduct was made into a gate. Let's begin the tour of Thirlby down here, at the train shed. The shed is over six feet long, and was built to house five roads, each holding a rake of four coaches and its locomotive. Here we see the Royal Scot starting its journey. And her first stop is at Bryland Halt to pick up the first passengers of the day. Bryland Halt is close to a small, partially disused quarry, which is mining limestone for onward shipment to Scunthorpe for steel making. It's also a convenient place to store wagons on unused tracks. Moving over to Thirlby Station, this is the busiest part of the layout, with trains running from Peterborough to Grantham and beyond, as well as local trains serving Bourne and Stamford. Here you can see Harrywood the Wake on the Thames Clyde Express and we also had visits from other famous locomotives. The train in the bay platform is pulled by a BR Standard Class 2, modified for push-pull operation. It works a local service from Thirlby to Stamford. Over on Platform 1 is a Class 37 about to take us on a full tour of the railway.